Hi guys, and today I went to the zoo and I took the RX-10 Mark IV with me just because it's so usable. I was actually on the way to a job, but I had a few hours spare to um, just make the most of the really nice weather we had. Um, on the way there I stopped at the Long Man of Wilmington and this was taken, the first shot was 24mm and then I zoomed into about 100 um, and then into 600mm there. So you can see how, how much scope you've got and how much usability you have and you can see it's, it's nice and sharp and detailed. Um, this is a squirrel monkey, so when I arrived at the zoo, the squirrel monkey was bouncing around all over the place, and I was amazed to find that, just out of interest, I pushed the um, eye autofocus button, and it focused on the eyes. And I thought, well, okay, similar to a human, I suppose. Um, so yeah, sharp shots, you know, pretty good. Um, looking through a lot of glass, though, unfortunately, so holding the camera right up and trying to block any light coming into the front of the camera to get rid of any reflections, um, but it did pretty well. Uh, I need to get. A, I think I need to get a new polarizing filter or something. I think with the slow motion, especially when the sun's out, especially with water, it can look a bit weird. And it doesn't look quite as good as it could. Um, there it does because it's quite close. But beforehand, wide angle it didn't. Here are some monkeys um, of some sort. I can't remember what type. Just bouncing around. This is 500 frames a second slow motion. As you can see, there's a few reflections in the, in the glass I was shooting through, but there's nothing I could do about it. Um, the sun was shining straight through. Sort of towards me, but I thought it's still worth worthwhile. They're bouncing around, enjoying themselves, um, which is pretty fun. Makes you wish you could do that. But um, yeah, the next one is basically come out of its um, little house, and uh, so at 500 frames a second now, and then I slowed it down even more. So it slowed it down now, so even slower. But that jump there from the other side was probably less than half a second. He leaped out of there very quickly. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty good. Um, just let's say, unfortunately, you have to kind of try and trick it because you have no manual control apart from ISO. Um, it wants to be at a minimum of one five hundred of a second. This one I really love, um, Snowy Owl. Unfortunately, it's in a cage, but if it was in the wild, I mean, I'd be it would be beautiful. Um, so yeah, five hundred frames a second again, and I actually got the uh, the keeper in there who's cleaning um, and putting food in and stuff to just disturb the bird a little bit just so it took off for me and there you go really really cool um not sure what kind of birds these were but um pretty colorful and uh, another 500 frames a second slow motion just onto my hand and uh quite a cool little uh little thing really friendly and you just pay a pound and you have a little nectar thing and they love it so they just lick it up and drink it and everything um but these shots are 24 mil f2.4 sharp as you like Really, really cool whilst I'm holding the birds. So imagine trying to do that with any other camera, um, apart from a little compact. It's, it's just so so good. Um, really, really sharp images. This was 600mm uh, f4, um, just from quite a way away. It gives it a really nice shallow depth of field in the background. Uh, the lemurs, I've never seen a black one before, but um, really brought his eyes out, which is quite cool. 600mm um, again, and same as this one, 600mm f4, but you can see it's slightly too shallow because his right eye is in focus and his left is out so maybe I should have stopped down slightly. Uh, the otters, it's feeding time so these are really funny. Um, like again through glass so not quite as sharp as I could. I've eaten a rat there apparently. Um, but they eat rats and fish and anything else that they uh, think. So as you can see there it's not quite you know it's not quite right. Um, it's like it was so bright that um, I think really a, um, an ND filter or a um, Polarizing filter of some sort would have uh, helped me get a better bit of uh, bit of footage there. You can see the water and the, um, you know bits and pieces happening there. It's not quite quite as good as it has been in some other shots with the slow motion. So just a bit of experimentation really. I and mean, this was just a bit of pleasure. Um, you know, just walking around the zoo, enjoying the animals and everything. So this is a 600 mil f4. Um, and again, this one 600 mil f4. Left eye is sharp, right eye is soft, so just you can see f4 sometimes is actually too shallow. Uh, same again, very slightly soft, um, one of the eyes. Um, with the penguins, these were quite fun. It's the feeding time, so throwing fish in. There's a young girl doing a um, like a feed the penguin day uh, experience. And uh, while the guy was talking, and uh, I managed to get a few cool slow motions. I mean, he's probably doing 15 miles an hour there. I slowed it right down as he accelerates. Um, and then another fish pops in behind him and he turns to go and get that. So quite a cool little water splash and there's little droplets flying around. So it is quite usable, but as you can see, it could probably do with 
an ND filter or a polarizing filter. Um, as you can say, it focused on his beak there, not on his eyes, unfortunately. So that's down to me, probably, not having the right focus setting. Um, this one here, it was actually, he was cruising past quite quickly, as you can see the water. This shot here, um, he, he sat there for a while and dived in. Brilliance of the RX10 Mark IV having 24 frames a second. So I've got 15 shots I could choose from just before the entry in and all the way into. This one, lovely and sharp on the eye. This one here, the um, IAF worked again, 600mm F4. Um, really, really good. So it locks straight in the eyes. The red panda. The colours, I mean, the light was beautiful. It's nice and soft. Um, some really lovely colour. This crow is sitting on top of the building by the cafeteria waiting for the people to finish their food and go so we can have a bit of lunch. Uh, same as the blackbird, I think he was uh, just chilling. So, but really cool with the sky and everything in the background. They're, these aren't edited, they're literally just processed in, in raw. A few adjustments on the levels and that's it. Uh, that's the same for every single photo on this um, in this sequence. Um, same as there, I'm shooting through glass though, unfortunately, so not as sharp as it could have been. And the same as again with the uh, this one. Um, the next shot is the lizard. Um, as you can see, it's actually when it gets closer, you'll see it's focused on his cheek. Um, uh, that was shot at ISO 1000 at 1 50th of a second. So there's a very, very slight part, bit of blur there, but not a lot. Um, but it just shows you it's what's possible. I mean, I was on a tripod and I was shooting diagonally through glass, so not straight through glass at an angle. So it probably wasn't as sharp as it could, possibly could have been. Um, anyway, guys, if you want to see some more, please subscribe, click the little bell button and uh, to get notifications, and please leave comments, ask any questions, I'll try and answer them I can. Um, and uh, that's it. Anyway, guys, uh, another video coming soon.